meteorites. Have you ever wondered if you could hike hours into the desert and actually find one? And could that meteorite then be sold to NASA for thousands of dollars? Well, I went on a long journey to find out, which includes almost dying from a heat stroke, a close encounter with a landmine, and potentially getting arrested by NASA for being a spy. <laughs> yeah, this story gets really crazy. So my plan is simple, travel to a known meteorite hotspot and search for however long it takes to find one. Then get in touch with NASA and simply hop on a plane to the NASA headquarters in Washington DC and sell it to them for a fortune. We're starting on level 1. After a bit of research, I realized this was virtually impossible. Finding an actual meteorite is insanely rare and difficult, and they could be almost anywhere. So if I wanted to find one, I would have to partner with a professional. So after calling a lot of different universities, meteorite collectors and museums, it all led me to one legendary meteorite hunter. Enter Roberto. Roberto is an absolute celebrity when it comes to finding meteorites and once found a meteorite worth a hundred thousand dollars. If anyone can help me find a meteorite, it's him. So I sent him a message on Facebook and very surprisingly, he replied within only a few minutes and said that he's in. According to Roberto, the place with the highest odds of finding a meteorite is in Death Valley. The extremely hot and dry climate of Death Valley creates the perfect conditions to preserve meteorites for thousands of years. So with that settled, we decided to meet up not far from Death Valley in a little place called Las Vegas. <laughs> I didn't actually just teleport here. I had to take like three flights and it took 18 hours. I'm so exhausted. So Vegas is definitely very different from what I'm used to at home. I mean, as I was filming this, Elvis literally just showed up to officiate a wedding. But I need to get it together, because somewhere out here in the deserts of Nevada, a priceless meteorite is just waiting to be sold to NASA. I have to pick up Roberto from the airport in like, right now, so let's go. This is the first time I've ever flown someone out for a video, which is super cool. But Roberto needs to be back home in two days from now, so we have a very small window to actually find this meteorite. What's up? How's it going, Roberto? Yes. What do you think of my outfit? Uh, yeah, you look the part. I had no idea how we were gonna pull this off. So we decided to stop at IHOP to go over the plan. Also, I, I just wanted pancakes, let's be real. So how likely is it that we actually find something? Out of every 10 meteorite hunts I go on, yeah. I find meteorites maybe once or twice. But Roberto told me not to worry because he found the perfect spot in Death Valley to search. This is Stewart Valley. It's been recommended that we hit this area. So hunting here is perfectly legal. As long as it's not like you're not trying to make a million dollars off of it. Right. I mean, that would be nice, you know? So we headed towards Death Valley with no idea if we would actually find anything. And the further we drove out of Las Vegas, the more isolated it felt. We're officially without service. There's no internet or anything. And to make it worse, we seem to be a bit lost. There's a road that goes over here. But being amazing with directions, I eventually found the right road. This whole area felt very sketchy, and I was worried we might be attacked by an animal or something, so I turned to Roberto for some reassurance. So there's no mountain lions out here? Uh, you know, there could be. All right, middle of nowhere. This was the furthest we could drive, so I got ready by applying some sunblock, and Roberto helped me set up the most important tool in finding a meteorite. A magnet stick! So now for the moment of the truth, and boop. Since meteorites are magnetic, this stick should tell me if a rock is a meteorite or not. There you go. Oh, thanks. Other characteristics are black fusion crust, and they should be solid, so no holes. It was time for an hour-long walk into the middle of the desert in 105 degrees heat to reach the meteorite hotspot. The sun was scorching hot, and there was just pure wilderness in all directions. The ground was also very dry and had cracks everywhere. Oh my god. But after an insanely long hike through nothing but desert, we finally arrived at the meteorite area. Any area past here is gonna be good for trying to identify meteorites. And so how would I? It's literally just, you see a rock, try tapping it. Yep. So I just started tapping my magnet stick on every rock I could find, hoping it would be a priceless meteorite. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, I thought that was a meteorite. Just tapping rocks. Tapping rocks. That's all it is. Nothing. After three hours, here's an extensive list of the things I found. Really old bottle. Rusty metal thing. Rocks. Oh, there's a lot of rocks over there. Tin can lid from the year 1814. How did this get out here? More rocks. This desert is so big and we are looking for a single rock. And even if I would find something, NASA still hasn't gotten back to me. 
So it was all feeling pretty hopeless in this moment. Oh my god. We've been at it for hours and still no meter, right? And to make it worse, I'd gotten so locked into searching that I completely lost Roberto. Oh my god, where is he? I literally don't see him anywhere. And I don't know the way back. Oh my god, what am I doing here alone? In the middle of Death Valley. Oh, starting to get kind of scary. Where are you, Roberto? This was officially the hottest I've ever been. I mean, it doesn't take much to get a heat stroke out here. Also, the sunblock kept leaking into my eyes and blinding me. Ugh, sunscreen in my eyes. That's amazing. Ugh. Ugh. I was starting to get pretty delirious. Where am I? But then I finally spotted Roberto way in the distance. I okay, I found him. Like a tiny little ant. Did you find anything? All right, so what's the plan? Let's head back. There was nothing there? No, not that I could see. Uh, that sucks. We could start early tomorrow, like sunrise. Before the sun gets hot. Yeah. And just as he said that, he spotted something on the ground. Could this be a meteorite? No, it wasn't. Roberto said that for tomorrow, he had a backup place nearby that we could hunt that. Also, I happen to have a secret weapon for tomorrow that Roberto doesn't know about. Nothing today. We know where they are. Yeah. So we headed back to Vegas to check into a hotel called the Excalibur. And when we showed up, I realized we are staying in an actual medieval castle. I mean, not really. It just kind of looks like one. <laughs> This place is absolutely amazing. I'm going to gamble and party and have fun all night long. I woke up around 6 a.m. and we're really racing against the clock here because once noon rolls around, it gets pretty unbearable to be out there in the desert. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Also, this is Roberto's last day before flying back home, so we had no choice but to find that meteorite. However, almost dying yesterday really made me want to be more prepared this time, so I dropped by at a gas station and got some absolute essential. I'm gonna look for some meteorites. Oh, you guys. I heard they were here. Traveled hours. <laughs> So fully equipped, we headed to the next meteorite hotspot called Roach Dry Lake. It used to be a lake, but then it dried up completely from the insane heat out in Death Valley. It was such a beautiful drive with amazing scenery. And yet again, we found ourselves in the middle of nowhere. So you think there's some meteorites out here? I've been told that a lot of rocks have been found here. We have a pretty good chance of finding something. That is if we were actually able to get there, because the road was rapidly declining in quality. And on top of that... I did just find out that I don't have roadside assistance though, so... And if we were to get stuck out here, it would be very hard to reach us. However, as we drove closer to the meteorite spot, we discovered a hole going across the road, and there didn't seem to be a way around it. I stepped out and tried to fill it up with rocks and dirt. Maybe something? Maybe. And it's only now that I'm editing this that I noticed this weird metal circular thing in the ground. So I asked ChatGPT what it was, and apparently it's a landmine, which is fantastic because my foot was literally an inch away from it. So I was barely able to drive past the hole. It was insanely stressful. But within a few minutes, we had reached a point where the road was too weak and I was certain we would get stuck. So we had to get out and walk the rest of the way. What's the direction we're heading in? I kind of just want to go along the edge, yeah. This search area was way larger than the last area. It felt endless in all directions, but I happened to have a secret weapon this time. A muddle detector. This should make it so much easier to cover an area. And with the temperature getting hotter by the minute, I just started scanning miles and miles of desert like my life depended on it. This is crazy. What is that? It's a can from the from cowboy times. That's one really old can, but not a meteorite. Let's keep looking. I had already scanned miles of desert and still not found anything, but then... Oop, oh, what was that? Hello. Are you something? Better ask Roberto. This is slag problem. You call these meteor wrong. Yeah, it wasn't a meteorite, but I did find a lot more junk, like a piece of wood. Also a bullet. And this thing. I was feeling really frustrated by the metal detector. It was beeping all the time, and it's probably because I bought the cheapest one I could find. So yeah, I ditched it and went back to the OG magnet stick. So I kept searching, but at this point the sun was at full force and it was getting hot. We were miles away from the car with no shade, limited water, and still no meteorite. This was turning into a disaster. 
It's getting really hot out here. Yeah, that's also a concern. God forbid you like twist your ankle yeah. or something like that. The clock was really ticking down and as the temperature went up, it got more and more difficult to keep going. And every time I found something, it either had holes in it holes. or it wasn't magnetic. <sighs> this is all too much. I can hear something out here and it's really freaking me out. This is just crazy. crazy. I keep hearing rattlesnakes or something and it feels like it's getting closer. Is this a meteorite? meteorite? Yeah. Probably. So thirsty. 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 This has to be a meteorite. meteorite. Yeah. Help! <sighs> oh, that helps. Wow. Where am I? What am I doing out here? That's a really good question. And I started wondering why Roberto even agreed to this. That's when he told me that it all started with his friend gifting him his first meteorite a few years back. And after that, he just fell in love with meteorites. Hearing this really motivated me to keep going. So we quickly came up with a new plan. So I think the best course of action, action is to keep hunting this way. And we decided to give it one last push before heading back. There had to be a meteorite out here somewhere. Sounds good. And after searching for only a few minutes, I heard Roberto yelling something oh really so i just sprinted to him really where is it so this right here yeah pretty sure that's a meter it's weather yeah. But I think it definitely could be. We'll have to fire it just to confirm. We might just have a meteorite. This is exactly why I brought Roberto out for this. But we still don't know for sure that it's a meteorite. So we headed back to the castle to do some analyzing. We had to see what the inside of the rock looked like. So Roberto told me to start filing it down. But apparently I wasn't fast enough, so Roberto took over. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. He filed it down a bit more to make sure. Yeah, you got a meteorite. It is? Yeah. Let's go, we had actually done it. We found a real meteorite. That's from the creation of the planet. That's, what, that's the leftover bits. It's just crazy to think that this rock was in space at some point. So with that done, it's just time to sell the meteorite to NASA for a fortune. So I said goodbye to Roberto and thanked him for the help. And it was time to jump on a plane to NASA headquarters in Washington, DC. I can only hope they'll want this space rock. Goodbye, Las Vegas. You've been good to me. I just arrived in Washington, D.C. and it's time to sell this meteorite for a fortune. However, it's 4 a.m. in the morning, so I think I'm just gonna... Leave the airport, jump into an Uber, drive to a motel, check in. Go into my room and go straight to sleep. It's the final day of our adventure and it's time to pay NASA a visit. It's all come down to this. I'm here outside the NASA headquarters in Washington. So Washington definitely has a very different vibe from Las Vegas. Everything felt very official and serious. I was just hoping I wouldn't get arrested. NASA still hasn't gotten me a meeting with them. So that leaves me with only one option to go inside and demand a meeting and sell this meteorite to them for a fortune. First, I just want to say that I have a dream of reaching 100,000 subscribers this year. I would be insanely grateful if you would help me out and subscribe. We are officially inside. I have successfully breached NASA. So I scouted the area and I didn't really see a reception, only the security guards. So I reluctantly walked up to them. Hey, how are you? Um, I'm just wondering, is this the reception? Yes. Okay, is there like a meteorite specialist in the building somewhere? Meteorite specialist. Yeah, I actually have this like super cool meteorite that I'm trying to uh, have a look at. So it's uh, an actual meteorite found it in the desert in Nevada. Really? I don't know if we got any signs just walking around. Is there no way to talk to someone? Because we're leaving today. Like I said, I don't know actually yeah. know who's in the building. That's yeah, the and there's no way to find out. Or I was in a bad situation here, but I had one idea that might work. I mean, if you don't mind me asking anyone who walks in, you know. That's up to you to answer your question. Right. Well, I had no time to spare. I mean, uh, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. This wasn't a good start, but I was completely out of options. Do you work at NASA? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm just, uh, I have this meteorite. Are you interested in those at all? Okay. No, no, there'll be people that are going out to get lunch from planetary. So I'm, oh, okay, okay. I'm in the Earth. So, so planetary division, it's called. Do you work in the planetary division? No. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> do you work in the planetary division? I do not. No? Okay, okay. Yeah, it was pretty weird. And it didn't look like I'd be getting a meeting with anyone here. I was also getting stared down by the security at this point. So I decided to go outside the building rather. The best strategy would be to sell it on the spot to an employee. Even if only for a few dollars, it would still count as selling it. So I just started pitching to everyone. But everyone I pitched to had one thing in common. They all seemed very uneasy and didn't want to even talk to me. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, do you work at NASA? No. Do you work at NASA? So we have a meteorite that we found in the desert. Okay. And we're just trying to like sell it for like five dollars if you want to own one. Okay. It was a bit weird considering I was basically trying to give them a real meteorite. So I'm just wondering, I have this meteorite here. Do you think they're cool at all? Meteorite? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go. Now don't screw this up. I just... Oh, that's... that's... I don't know the safety to touch or any of that stuff. I mean, it's, it's just a rock. I can show you the video of me catching it in the Nevada desert. Okay. I eventually found out that many were afraid to lose their job if they accepted this gift. I was pitching for hours until I finally found the buyer. I asked him if I could record and he said yes, but what followed is probably the weirdest interaction of my life. That's oh, you can? Yes, I can. I mean, I can give it to you like this. No, don't worry. So, um, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great memento, you know, it's, it's a great souvenir, right? It's not toxic, it's not you to No, 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 I totally understand. You yeah. understand what? I've never felt closer to actual insanity. This was the weirdest day of my life. I am literally trying to give people a real meteorite, and people look at me like I'm trying to hand them an explosive. There's just no one who wants to buy a meteorite. This is going very poorly. I don't know if it's my oversized outfit that's slowly falling apart. I was about to give up, but then I finally got someone interested. Well, let me go get five dollars for you. I'll oh really? Like oh, awesome. <laughs> Are you fine with being on video? Sure. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's not coming back, I think. But when I was starting to lose hope, she finally came back and with a security guard. Hey, but what's going on? Uh, we're just filming a YouTube video. I just I saw you wearing a wire or what the show. No, I've been joking. Like, it's almost like I'm a Russian spy or something. This is for a YouTube video. So he wants to give me a rock. Yeah, it's a meteorite, actually. Have there been some concerns about this or something? Being a federal building, we see people taking pictures and then wearing what looks like a wire. Yeah. I mean, I, I understand the reason that you're giving, but big picture, it is a little bit confusing. For me. Yeah. This had gone way out of hand. Coming from a very small country, it's really hard for me to understand just how paranoid everyone was. But maybe that was my mistake. So I somehow managed to talk my way out of there. I realized that my dream of selling a meteorite to NASA probably wouldn't be fulfilled. But maybe I could fulfill someone else's dream. So I went to the Air and Space Museum and found this kid who said he loves everything space related. It's from space. Yeah, it's from space. And I decided to give him the meteorite. Yeah, awesome. Okay, awesome. well, enjoy it. Nice yeah, you too. And who knows? Maybe he'll be the next Roberto.